Hi, it's Frank. I'm back today to show you how to install a package using a, a B-Bus, a plastic B-Bus. Very similar to the wooden, but a few little differences. So to install a package of bees, the first thing we want to do is obviously have our hive set up. You can see that I've got a 10 frame here. I removed four frames to give me room to dump the bees in here. I've got a frame feeder in here. It's extremely important to get feed on bees as close to that queen as you can because if you're starting out new, you've got foundation, you do not have drawn comb. The bees need to draw comb very quickly. They can only do that with sugar syrup. So I'm ready to go. I've got my package of bees. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to give them a spray down with one to one sugar water. One part sugar, one part water mixed up in a clean spray bottle. This is gonna do two things for me. It's going to get the wings of the bees a little sticky so they're not apt to fly as much. And it's also going to cause them to clean each other and fill their bellies. Again, they won't be flying as much and they won't be that defensive. So I've sprayed them once. I generally, because the queen is still in here, I'm just going to give it a gentle knock down, knock those bees down and spray them again. And you could give that depending on the temperature. If it's very cold, I'll give it three, four sprays. If it's very warm outside, I'll give them eight, nine sprays. It doesn't really matter. So I sprayed those bees, I've tapped them down. My queen is in here. I've got to get her out of there. Now, by the way, I've said these bees are very docile because they're in a package. They're not defending their hive. I'm not wearing gloves or a veil today, but if you feel comfortable wearing a veil and gloves, go ahead and do it. It's not a, not a big deal. Don't let anybody tell you shouldn't. So I'm going to pull that syrup can down. All right, so I've got the queen out of there. I'm going to take a look at her. I'm going to make sure she's walking back and forth and she's alive. If she happens to be dead, you're going to still want to put her in here to keep these bees in this hive, but you're going to contact your package supplier and have a new one sent to you or given to you. So she looks good. She's walking around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hang that queen cage into, the, into a frame. This happens to be a three hole Benton queen cage. I'm going to put it in our queen holder. And we're going to hang it screen side down. So I like to hang mine right in the middle, about a third of the way back like that. Now that I've got her hung in there, I want some bees to cluster over here pretty quickly. So I'm going to take this package and I'm going to shake a couple of handful of bees right on top of her. And then the rest are going to go in here in the gap we made by removing frames. So we've got a bunch right on top of her now, and we're going to put the rest right in the bottom. Now these bees are very hardy. We always, we're careful when we're putting the queen in, but when we're shaking the rest of the bees in, you can shake fairly aggressively. You're not going to hurt them. Now I've got some bees left in this cage. I could tap this down like this on the ground and I can get more out of here if I want to, or I could just take this cage and put it right there and those bees will find their way in. So you can see I've got bees right over top of this queen. I'm going to take my frames and I'm going to gently put them back into the colony. Those bees in the bottom that I shook in are going to all move out of the way. I'm going to put my inner cover on. Now, where I happen to be installing today, we don't have any pollen currently. So I'm going to put on a pollen patty. I've already put syrup on them in the syrup feeder, but if we want them to raise brood, they're going to need pollen. With no pollen coming in from the area, I'm going to have to give them a patty, an Ultra B patty substitute. So I'm going to put that right over the top like that. Give them some pollen. If your bees, if you're in an area that they're, we're installing and they're currently bringing in pollen, like dandelion or something like that, don't put a patty on. They won't use it. You'll be waste, wasting that patty. Only use a pollen substitute when there's no real pollen. So the bees are in there. Got my syrup feeder full. Have my pollen patty on. I'm going to put my inner cover on like this. And I'm going to put my outer cover over top of it. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to let these bees acclimate for a little while to go into this colony. They'll settle down and they'll eventually go into this colony. But toward the end of the day, 
I'm gonna come back with my entrance reducer. The reason being, for some reason, sometimes the package just won't like the hive you put them in and they'll abscond in a day or so. So if I put this in there and minimize that entrance down to a, a small opening like this, the bees are gonna be less apt to leave the colony. I'll leave that in place for a little while. I might leave that in there for maybe up to a week. I want the bees to stay in. I want them to take that syrup I put in there, take that patty and start drawing out that comb on that foundation. After I know they start drawing comb and I'm ready to go in and let that queen out, I'm gonna come back because it's an entrance reducer so it slows the traffic down. I don't want that. I want them to go as much as they want. So I'm gonna open that up so they have full access. That's all there is to putting in a package. Don't need smoke, you don't need your smoker. You need syrup, sugar water, and a hive tool and your queen cage holder. That's all you need.